Hey, what's going on? This is Jeremy, uh, Oddball Garage. Uh, my last name is Bob, B-A-U-G-H. Growing up, uh, we had my friends, their last name was Ball, and they said the Ball Trill, and I was the Oddball, so it kind of stuck. Anyway, I just want to introduce myself, tell you about what we're doing. Um, we do a little bit of everything here. I'll show you around and tell you about what we're doing and building, and we'll go from there. So, this is my 1934 Chevy 5 Window Masters Coupe. My dad bought this car 40 years ago. It was black. Um, had some old school rims and big fat tires sticking out of the back. Uh, it was black and everything was, all the trim here or the pieces here were gold. It was a pretty slick car. He went and redone it all. This is the third time he's redone it. Uh, we've got the old Wabbit Dash uh, in it. Um, he did a pretty good job for being, you know, 40 years ago on this suspension. Uh, Mustang 2 front end. Uh, but what we're going to do, uh, had a, a 350 in it uh, when I, he gave it to me. Had a three, I think a 327 out of old Corvette in it. Numbers matching before that. But I bought a Chevy SSR and I pulled out the 5.3 with the uh, transmission uh, and that's what's going in it. Um, I want it to be kind of an old school build so the motor is gonna be totally old school looking when it's done. Um, we got the new suspension here, the HOTS. HOTS suspension here, uh, new steering column. I think it's from Flaming River. I got my new banjo steering, steering wheel. Cool overs, everything's chrome, which I'm not too keen on chrome underneath my car, because you know that just gets dirty. Uh, we got four length for the rear. I got Willwood brakes, new rotors, everything for it. Uh, just a lot of good stuff. Uh, also, the floor pans are over here. Uh, we're gonna replace them with metal, get rid of that uh, wood. But the old car is still beautiful. This is a Dust Pearl, original color of a 57 Bel Air. Um, I have been featured in a couple of magazines. One was on my tail lights. We took, uh, well, my dad did. It only came with one tail light over here. He took another Chevy one and put it over here. We put a third brake light up here. And on the fenders, we have blinkers that are in and just, you can't even fill them. Uh, Anyway, this thing's getting totally redone. This is probably a 25-year-old build, which still looks amazing, still wins shows, or it was until I tore it apart. Uh, so that's one of the projects we're doing here. Another one we have is if you follow or subscribe to Texas Rock Outlaws on YouTube, we build rock crawlers. Uh, this one has four-wheel steering, military rock wheel axles, three-stick transfer case. It's got a stack transfer case. And it is a six-cylinder Toyota motor supercharged. So that one's going to be fun. Very fun. Uh, we go over here into the man cave. And I just decided I'm fixing to build a new shop. Uh, this is all the stuff for my rock crawler. I got a Fitech fuel in, uh, injection system for it. And uh, I have a 6.0 LS sitting right here. 400 transmission with Atlas. Two transfer case. Um, so we're into a little bit of everything around here. This is my man cave slash bar. That come off a race car out outside of Abilene. Um, we have the mini RC cars. This is my buddy's bike. He's going to build up nice. And this one here is one of mine I'm going to build up. Brand new chopper. Never, somebody put it together and never rode it or anything. It's got a 300 tire in the back, brand new motor, transmission, suicide shifter, eight pangers. I believe those are Sugar Bear uh, Springer front end. I'm not 100% sure. But this is the man cave. Pool table's not set up. But as you can tell, we are into cars. There's when the car was bought. It was black. My dad did it white with that RC Cola box I got to redo. Here I am going around the NASCAR track in it. Um, show you what else we got out here. 
we're still rearranging the shop because uh, I decided this was going to be where I parked the boat and the lawnmower and all that. And uh, I'm going to build a bigger shop out back. I'll show you. Uh, it's going to be 90 by 40. <coughs> this is my daily driver. 1993 first gen Cummins uh, Dooley. I love my truck. I tried the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the Comet wash on it yesterday and it brought out some red in it. We're just going to end up clear coating it. But this is my daily driver. Really clean inside, not right now, but um, this here is my 95 Dodge second gen. Got the 360 motor in it. I converted over to one ton axles, 40 inch tires, Walker Evans wheels. I beat on a little bit, it's a fun truck. Uh, I got a slide in pop-up camper I'm wanting to put on the back, build a custom flatbed on it and have it as a, uh, kind of like a mega overland truck. We're gonna build all custom dash in here. That's if I don't sell the truck first. I've had some offers on it. And this is the rock crawler I'm building now. It's a 2014 Rubicon Hard Rock Edition. This is my other YouTube channel here, Texas Rock Outlaws. <clears throat> but this is the one that's getting one ton axles, Dana 60 Kingpin front, 14 boat rear, 43 inch tire, 6.0 LS, turbo 400 transmission, Atlas, two transfer case. So that's a little bit what we're going going on here my dad lives right across the street i'll do a deal on his uh rio his reo we built it took five years it's got a cummins in it air ride and everything i had to set my frame out on my rock crawler yesterday we're going to reinforce it and cut everything up so we can do all the aluminum four link but these are my buildings back here they go all the way way over there and my house is there and my buddy lost his wheels on his duty yesterday. So we're gonna tear all these buildings down. It's all concrete, real good concrete. And we're gonna build a big uh, shop out there. It'll be able to fit my school bus. I got a Bluebird school bus with a Cummins in it. And we're building a motorhome out of it. We can haul cars to car shows, go rock crawling, whatever we wanna do. Um, and over here, we'll have a big, outside patio fireplace we love playing cornhole so we'll play cornhole over there it'd be really cool so i didn't get that could you try again sorry my apple watch is trying to talk to me so anyway that's what i got going on here uh like i said texas rock outlaws is my main channel i thought well i want to do one for my hot rods and the chopper and the motorcycle builds and everything just the fun stuff so if y'all would, please subscribe, hit that like button, watch this car get transformed uh, with an LS. It's going to be pushing around 500 horsepower. Um, so if y'all would, please subscribe, help me out. Uh, but uh, the Fitec is going on the Jeep and I'm getting Ace's uh, fuel injection system for this one. Comes with a bigger screen, GPS, speedometer, everything. I've been looking at them online. They've been sending me offers, you know, 10, 20% off. So maybe next year, uh, once I get back on my feet, we'll order that. I, I'm 48 years old. And like I said, I've been riding around this car for 40 years with my dad. He's still alive. He gave it to me. But I recently had, uh, got diagnosed with colon cancer, had two and a half feet of my colon removed, and just now getting back on my feet to where I can start working on this stuff again. So like I said, man, if y'all could subscribe, like, share, everything, I really appreciate it. Uh, this is going to be a fun build. All of them are. And if you're ever in the Abilene Clyde area, hit me up. Or if you want to come down and tinker with some stuff with us, come on down. We're all about having fun and meeting new people. Anyway, uh, God bless everyone. Y'all take care. And uh, it's almost Christmas, so Merry Christmas. Uh, thanks for watching.